Sandy Mangles, and welcome to day 32. It is Country Day today, and our song comes from 1969. Now, most people think that it's a Reba McIntyre song, and it isn't. Well, at least not yet it isn't. See, it was written and recorded in 1969 by a young female country singer named Bobby Gentry. Now, Bobby considered that the song was a feminist statement about equality, equal pay, daycare centers, abortion rights, and a whole host of other things that are implied in the song that uh, the country music scene wasn't quite ready to deal with. Now, in 1990, Reba McIntyre did a cover version of the song that became a huge hit. In fact, today, Reba considers this song to be her signature song although she, of course, gives credit back to Bobby for writing it in the first place. Now, there's something else about this song that's kind of interesting. I think that it might be country's first country rap song. You listen to all these words all smushed together in a beat in this song, and tell me it doesn't sound like rap to you. Now, there's three things that this is. It is fast, it is furious, and it is one other F word, fancy. <laughs> Well, I remember it all very well. Looking back, it was the summer I turned 18. We lived in a one-room rundown shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have money for food or rent, to say the least. We were hard-pressed. Then Mama spent every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. Well, Mama washed and combed and curled my hair, and she painted my eyes and lips. Then I stepped into a satin dancing dress that had a split on the side, clean up to my hips. It was red velvet trimming and it fit me good. Standing back from the looking glass there stood a woman where a half-grown kid had stood. She said, here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Mama dabbed a little bit of perfume on my neck and then she kissed my cheek. And then I saw the tears welling up in her troubled eyes as she started to speak. She looked at a pitiful shack and then she looked at me and took a ragged breath. She said, your paws run off and I'm real sick and the baby's gonna starve to death. She handed me a heart-shaped locket that said to thine own self be true. And I shivered as I watched a roach crawl across the toe of my high-heeled shoe. It sounded like somebody else that was talking, saying, Mama, what do I do? She said, just be nice to the gentleman, Fancy. They'll be nice to you. She said, here's your one chance, Fancy. Don't let me down. Here's your one chance, Fancy. Don't let me down. Lord, forgive me for what I do. But if you want out, well, it's up to you. Now don't let me down. Now your mama's going to move you uptown. Well, that was the last time I saw my mom when I left that rickety shack. The welfare people came and took the baby. Mama died and I ain't been back. But the wheels of fate had started to turn and for me there was no way out. It wasn't very long till I knew exactly what my mom had been talking about. I knew what I had to do when I made myself this solemn vow. That I was gonna be a lady somehow, though I didn't know when or how. But I couldn't see spending the rest of my life, my head hung down in shame. You know, I might have been born just plain white trash, but Fancy was my name. Here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. Here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. It wasn't long after a benevolent man took me in off the streets. One week later, I was pouring his tea in a five-room hotel suite. Yes, you were. I charmed a king, a congressman, and an occasional aristocrat. And then I got me a mansion in an elegant New York townhouse flat, and I ain't done bad. She ain't done bad. Now, in this world, there's a lot of self-righteous hypocrites who call me back and criticize Mama for turning me out, no matter how little we had. But though I ain't had to worry about nothing for nigh on 15 years, 
Well, I can still hear the desperation in my poor mama's voice when I'm in my ears. Here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. Here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. Lord, forgive me for what I do, but if you want out, well, it's up to you. Now don't let me down on your mama's gonna leave you uptown. Oh, what I guess she did. That was a hell of a lot of words. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.